Hey y'all, it's Ashley. I'm back with another episode. So I said from the beginning that I wasn't going to do um, any makeup on my channel and things like that because that's not what my channel is about at all. But I actually decided that I'm going to do a... I don't want to call this a tutorial either because I don't know how to do makeup. But I guess it's like in a way a get ready with me or something like that. Hopefully you all like this. If you do thumbs up, subscribe, you know the routine and share if you want to as well. So let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. I'm going to, you know, do the brushing thing and stuff. Quick disclaimer y'all, I am going to clean my brushes later today. So please do not comment or tell me, Ashley, your brushes don't look freshly clean. You didn't wash them before you did this. I wash my brushes, I just didn't do it today. Why? Because I'm not a makeup artist. Why? Because this is not a tutorial. Why? Because I don't have to. Okay, so I went to the store and I thought I was getting mascara. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just get some mascara at the beauty supply store because it's gonna be way cheaper than going anywhere else, right? I thought I was getting mascara. What did Ashley end up buying? Ashley ended up buying brown, not black, brown mascara. And I took that mascara because I can't wear brown mascara. Like, that's gonna look bad on me. So I took the brown mascara and I was like, Ashley, you could either throw this away or find a way to use it. And what did I end up using it for? I ended up using it for my brow gel. Smart, right? Um, protect our skin if we don't get dry. The next funny thing I do, which shows you I'm not a makeup artist, I use two different foundations because I used to use Fit Me, but it was like super oily or whatever. So I switched to... Um, using this L'Oreal infallible 24 hour is not really 24 hour whatever kind of face thing um, foundation and it's kind of red for my skin tone my undertones aren't this red and it started making me look kind of weird like I was two different colors and I didn't like that because my neck is darker than my face and so then I started using this stay matte thing and it was a little light but I like the undertone I would get I mean, it matched my undertone. So I started combining them and I would get a decent result. So I'm gonna do that today. I just make a circle, a circle, a circle, and a dot. Okay. And so I blend it in two ways. Um, like I said, y'all, my brushes aren't clean, so don't say anything. I first have a beauty blender or whatever. It has to be clean. You could tell I went crazy on my face this whole week. Um, <laughs> And then I have this stiff old elf brush thing. So I watch YouTube videos, but then I'm like, oh, that looks hard. And so then I kind of make up my own ways of doing stuff. And it tends to bring about results that I like uh, on a good day. So I don't know. I'm going to continue to do my makeup the way I do it. People will always talk about you. But are you going to let it affect you? Question of the day. Okay, so it's not totally blended out, right? Because a stiffle brush can only do so much because in actuality, this is a powder brush. Um, so I switch over to my Not Clean Beauty Blender or whatever and then I actually make it blend. This isn't even a real beauty blender. It's from Forever 21. You, you all haven't noticed, um, I, wow, my lips are dry. My lips are so dry. And we're back. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on my eyes because my eyes are dark. And I want my eyeshadow to look normal, I guess. Okay, and I'm going to use my three basic brushes for everything. Uh, I have like two more brushes, but I don't really care enough to break those out. Um, 
And I'm gonna take a little bit of this off brand by Forever 21. I used to work there, yeah. Well, I still work there um, during breaks. That's why everything I own is practically Forever 21. But they sell makeup now. So I brought this setting powder from them and it actually is really good. And I'm surprised. It's by uh, J Cat Beauty. That's an ugly name. It's by J Cat Beauty though. And so I'm gonna put that on my eye as like a base or whatever. It's um, a two-part palette. It is by, I don't know, I took the sticker off of it. I don't know who it's by. But I got it off of Amazon. It was really cheap. It was like under $20. And like for all those colors and under $20, it's pretty good, I guess. So like, yeah. Okay, the funny story behind my eyeliner is the fact that number one I'm bad at it but number two I went into the store I always should read labels y'all I really you all I really don't read labels and I should start so I went into the store and I actually oh wait let me start talking I'm gonna mess this up I remember watching something on the Tyra show back in the day uh growing up you know when everybody tried to be a model that phase um I was watching something and preparing for my modeling career, right? And I remember Tyra saying that a tip for um, black women is to use blue eyeliner instead of black eyeliner because it'll look less harsh and it looks better. I don't know why she said that. I can't remember that much or something, but it was like one of her tips. And the fact that this had like a blue tint to it, but it wasn't extremely blue, I was like, Okay, I'm gonna keep buying Midnight. So I've been buying like not really black eyeliner for a year now. And now we're gonna draw all those lines on our faces that make us look like we know what we're doing. For those who are like, uh, Ashley, what is what are you holding? What does it look like? A, I don't even know what this looks like at this point. Um, but what am I holding? I am holding a black opal foundation stick. For dark skinned women, it is really, 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 really hard to find contour equipment. I said equipment. Why is it equipment? Because you have to build the face. Um, it is really, really hard to find stuff that will go with our skin tone and help us out. And so in order to contour, you need a shade that's darker than you. And so I use a black opal foundation stick. I just got it from CVS to do my face. Uh, I mean, to contour my face. It's almost like putting double foundation on, but it's okay. It's perfectly fine. And we're going to look like a tribal person for two seconds. Oh, I should say this while I'm doing my makeup and blending all of this together. People think that um, people think that girls do makeup or women, girls and women do like makeup to impress people. When I buy a bottle of foundation that costs forty dollars. I am not buying that to impress you. That is for personal use, period. Everybody thinks that girls wear makeup because we are afraid of our flaws. And I definitely used to be one of those people and stuff like that, you know, like I didn't like being seen without makeup. I still like, I wear it all the time, but I don't wear it because I'm scared of being seen with without makeup anymore. I wear it because I genuinely like makeup, even though I'm not good at it. I think practicing it is fun and I like to see women hype each other up like girl your face looks so good today and stuff like that that to me is so cute I feel like black women um we can either be each other's main supporters or and this goes for black men as well the black community we can be each other's main supporters or we can be each other's worst enemies and I would rather hype you up and be your supporter, whether that be about your makeup, your uh, outfit, your schoolwork, your job. You just got a bonus at your job. I'm going to cheer for you. I'm going to cheer for you because 
I want my community to thrive. And I think that's a mindset we should all have. That's like so off topic. I don't know how I got there from doing makeup. But I just have to say that because we are the first ones to tear each other down. But we should be the first ones to build each other up. So, yeah. Words of wisdom for the day, I guess. We're going to be our faces. So now I am doing um, what's called contouring further, I guess, by giving my face definition and using dark versus light shades. Um, like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is how I do it. It usually looks like the pictures. So I'm going to keep doing it like this. We're going to keep beating our face. We are going to keep beating our face. Okay, so now we're doing this thing called baking. Um, no, not in an oven, but I'll serve you. Um, just kidding. But we're doing this thing called baking. And baking... For makeup means that you're letting powder sit on your face so it soaks up the um, whatever you put on your face. I don't actually know what baking is. It's supposed to help people with oily skin by soaking up some of the oils in our face and helping our makeup last longer once you like let it sit there and do whatever it does. Like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. I actually have no idea what baking is. I saw it in a YouTube video. It looks fun, so I did it. And while that's what's love got to do, got to do with it. What's love? I don't know the rest of the word. So in the summer, when it's hot out, I don't like putting lotion on because I feel like lotion comes out super, super fast. Um, so I use coconut oil instead, and I use that all over my body when I hop out the shower. And so I went and put that on. And so now it is time to brush the excess uh, powder off my face, whatever that's called. So I have two brushes. I don't really know why. And I'm going back in with this brush. And I'm going to make sure my face looks blended. And I'm gonna blend down to my neck because I hate when people do not do that. And I'm gonna go back in with some more contour because all of that sort of went away. And I'm going to put that dust on my face so I can look good today. And I'm gonna be my face. We're putting on blush so we can look happy even when we're not smiling at all. And I'm going to put some highlighter on because I want to look like a glitter ball. And I'm going to spray my face with some e.l.f. makeup mist and set. Even though it doesn't actually set anything at all. And I'm going to throw the highlight. Oh, that's... It's a little bright. It's okay. Oh, no. No, no, no. We got to blend that out. And I'm gonna go back in with that palette I was working on earlier and take some of the eyeshadow I used on my lid and put that at the bottom. I saw some girl do this on YouTube and it looked nice, so I try to do it too. And then it usually looks like um, we got punched in the face. So then I'm just gonna add some more mascara right there. So now I'm gonna put some black radiance lipstick on. I, it's almost like having a lip liner, a brown lip liner. I put some NYC 
Well, I don't know what color this is. Oh, Turtle Bay Toffee, whatever. I put that on my lips. And then usually I mess up and put too much. So I'll go back with the same thing. So now I relocated to the bathroom. Um, you all can see my dashiki a little bit better. My dashiki dress. It's actually a um, funny story. I always have a story for everything. It's actually my dad's dashiki. Um, we help sponsor a church in, um, in Mubasa. So they give us stuff sometimes or our missionaries will bring us back stuff. And so they brought back these dashikis for my dad, but he really doesn't wear dashikis. He wears like work clothes every day. So I was like, oh, can I have them? And he was like, yeah. So I took them. And so I have a really big oversized, basically man size dashiki that I use, uh, I mean, that I wear. And it's straight from Africa, so that's cool. But also I don't wear it as a shirt because it's too big, so I wear it as a dress. And I just put some shorts underneath it. So now I'm in the kitchen basically trying to find something to eat. Um, I have food but I don't feel like cooking like I said before. So I'm eating sausage and cheese and crackers. So after a while I realized you all aren't going to watch me fold cheese back and forth and break it up that's actually really dumb oh there's me eating some sausage i couldn't even wait so basically this is the end of the video it's not long because i would have been late for work if i actually taped me making up my bed and heading out the door and everything like that so as always like comment subscribe follow me on all forms of social media ashley shannon 96 and stay beautiful